Welcome to Yukanic today here in Yukanic. We have a 2015 Ford Focus 2.0 liter motor in it. Standard motor, not a turbo. Um, we have our check engine light on slash we had a transmission light came on and it was in the red and now the vehicle won't wouldn't drive forward or go backwards and once the engine was turned off it will not start it won't even make it won't even attempt to crank the uh, starter itself. So we have our uh, OBD2 scanner hooked up to the vehicle, towed into the shop, and now um, we are going to check the codes and see what they are. Right. So you can either we can look through the power control module and see potentially what's in there, and if we have anything. If not, we'll try the transmission control module. Okay, so the transmission range circuit not indicating the park neutral during the self-test. And so that's a P1705. So the range circuit, it's not, it's not telling it that it's in park, even though you know you have it in park, because the sensor has potentially gone bad, or did go bad. Right, so that was in the um, engine control module, and let's see what happens to show up in the transmission control module. We've got all types of stuff in there. So on the transmission control module, we have a decent list of them. And they all seem to be about this for the same thing, right? So P0707, and that's a transmission rate. Uh, range selector circuit is low. Then we have the P1705, which that was the same one that we had from the engine control module which was that the transmission range circuit is not indicating in the park and neutral. Then we have the P2802, which is a transmission range sensor B, circuit is low. The P0707, the transmission range circuit, sensor A, circuit is low. Transmission range sensor B, circuit low. That's a duplicate of the other one. And then invalid data received from the ECM control module on from the PCM. So we have one sensor and we have a lot of codes that are going for this transmission range sensor and then this one says something with the um, electronic control module from the ECM. And so let's go ahead and find this transmission range select sensor and go over that process to be able to replace it and um, see if we can fix the vehicle. So this sensor is located right down here in between where the battery box is and the uh, the side of the engine. All right, I'm just going to disconnect this connector that goes to that purge valve solenoid just to give us a better visual of what we are looking at. Um, maybe a little bit better of a visual uh, right down in there. So our sensor that we are looking for or looking at is right here. So we have an electric connector that we need to um, disconnect, and this is one of those ones where you pull the tab back up and then be able to squeeze it to unhook it. And now we have the bolts that we need to undo, which should be an eight millimeter. And then we can pull that sensor, um, should be able to pull that sensor straight out. So I just got, it's an eight millimeter. Should be able to get some uh, length on it. So we've removed the two bolts. Now, just be able to pull up on that sensor and pull it straight out of the transmission to be able to replace it. And so how this sensor works is we've got um, some electric that go between there and fix that selection. So if something has gone bad in the sensor or say the electric connection was bad, that's why it's not reading whether it's in park or, or drive. And so um, you would just get a new sensor and then be able to replace it. So now we take the new sensor and be able to drop it down in there. 
line it up and it only have one way to go and the way it has a little uh, tab on the one side and that way we can't put it in the wrong direction. We've got the bolts um, started in there. I'm gonna finish uh, tightening them up. All right, so there's all tight and snug in there. Then we wanna connect our electric connector. We put the safety lock on there so that it doesn't uh, back its way out when you're driving down the road. And then you have that issue again. And don't forget to hook the connector back up to the uh, the perch valve here in case you did disconnect that one. Now we have fixed the sensor so let's go ahead and um, clear the cones. Now we cleared those out of the uh, um, transmission one. Let's go ahead and clear it out of the engine also and be able to see if the vehicle starts and runs and if not there might be some more diagnostic needing to be taken care of. All right so that fixed it for this particular um, issue. Um, that's just one situation of something that can go bad within the transmission sensors and then when they all communicate with everything else it'll deactivate and won't allow the vehicle to start. So thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic.